Hi students, welcome back. Let's continue with the previous problem. Uh, so we are discussing about how to calculate the performance of a system. So a little modification with the previous problem. So let's take a four processor system instead of uniprocessor. In the previous uh, question, I have taken the uniprocessor to calculate the average CPI and MIPS ray. And here instead of uniprocessor, I am taking the four processor system with the shared memory. Remember, with the shared memory, I am taking the four processor instead of uniprocessor. Due to the need for synchronization among the four program parts, 200 extra instructions are added to each part. Means for each part, part means there I had executed, I uh, had taken the integer arithmetic, floating point arithmetic, loader, store and memory reference. So here in each instruction type, I have to add 200 extra instructions that are to be added to each part. Total my complete program sizes, it's consisting of 1 lakh, one lakh instructions. So for this 1 lakh instruction, uh, I'm using the four programmed parts and here each program part is having a 200 extra instructions are added. Okay, so this is only the little modification for the previous program, the previous problem. So by adding the modification, I need to calculate the average CPI. First one is average CPI. So average CPI means just like the previous only because uh, it is taking the one to whatever the matter it is, whether it is adding uh, 200 extra instructions or day, but it the cycles per instruction is 1, 2, 4, 6 and each uh, instruction type is occupying, it is occupy, integer arithmetic occupying 60% in 20%, 10% and 10% memory reference. So if you take the like that, the average CPA is 2 cycles per instruction only. Now, so there is no change here. Now coming to determine the corresponding MIPS rate. So uh, millions instruction per second, millions instruction per second let's calculate is equal to so if it is a uniprocessor then you no need to you just take uh, the frequency f by uh, cpi okay f by cpi so here my frequency uh, there sorry it's a clock rate the clock rate here it is the 500 megahertz processor if it is a uniprocessor it is 500 megahertz processor and here i am using the four processor system four processor system that is 4 into 500 megahertz it's a clock rate the clock rate of the processor is 500 megahertz so four processor system 4 into 500 by cycles per instruction 2 so you will get mips is 1000 mips is 1000 now so next is what you have to calculate so mips is calculated the next is calculate the speed up factor of four processor system i want to calculate the speed up factor for of four processor system so let's take the one processor so the first machine that is a one processor is ic by mips so what is the uh, how many instructions uh, instruction count that is a complete uh, size of the program is 1 lakh if it is a uni processor it is a 1 lakh I am calculating for uniprocessor. 1 lakh by 250 is the MIPS rate. We already calculated in the previous video. So 1 lakh by 250. So you will get the 0 0.4, 0 0.4 milliseconds. Now coming to the machine 2. So the machine 2 is upgraded uh, I, MIPS. So what is the size of my program? My program here, the size is actually the complete, it's, it's a 1 lakh instructions into four okay the four types of instructions the four processor into uh, each uh, instruction type is adding 2000 that is what it is explained because each is in the question they are given due to the need of synchronization among the four program parts 2000 extra instructions are added to each part so for each part you need to add 200 extra instructions 2000 extra instructions by what is MIPS rate for the uh, four processor system it's a thousand then we go so 0 0.108 milliseconds so now calculate the speed up how how you're going to calculate the speed up speed up is equal to 
the machine 1 is 0.4 and the machine 2 is 0.108 you will get 3.0703 3.703 this is a speed up now calculate the efficiency of a four processor system how you are going to calculate the efficiency of a pro four processor system efficiency is equal to speed up by number of processors number of processors so what is the speed up speed up is 3.703 3.703 how many processor are there these are the four processor system let's take four so you will get 92.59 percent so the efficiency of a four processor system is 92.59 percent so in this way you need to calculate you just apply the formula so whatever the formulas i had explained uh, you to you the cycles per instructions that how to calculate the mips the efficiency throughput by applying all those formulas you can easily find out uh, what is the efficiency of a system what is the speed up of your system what is the throughput of your system how many uh, cycles per instruction it is taking like that thank you